Continuing coverage of a referendum pitting a hard-hit community against a struggling school district. A school referendum in Broadhead calling for exceeding revenue caps by 3.59 million over four years. It failed by a 55 to 45 percent margin last night, and that puts jobs and extracurriculars, including sports and music, on the line. The night team's Maria Guerrero has more on what the outcome means for folks down there, Maria. Well, Eric, it means that families might need to choose whether to send their kids to a school with no sports, music, or even drama. Eleven staff members could be cut. And next on the chopping block, extracurriculars. Like many small-town districts, Broadhead students have pride in their accomplishments. These line the school hallways. Now even parents who had concerns about this referendum's cost are waiting to see what will happen next. With the economy, um, we've lost two major factories in town. We've got another factory that has done layoffs and cutbacks. Uh, I think everyone has had their hours cut, and it's pretty obvious by the vote that the community is saying, we don't have the money. We need to do something else. We need to make harder cuts. I think the biggest thing right now is to stick together. My biggest fear with this whole thing is that you know I don't want to see our town torn apart. I don't want to see our school torn apart. I don't want to see kids feuding over. We've got to stick together and come up with a solution. And already overnight, open enrollment numbers have doubled to nearly 70, and the deadline for parents to apply is Friday, so the district does expect many more. One parent considering a transfer, Julius Panoski, he is, whose son is a junior basketball standout there. He tells News 3 that transferring to Monroe is the only way to keep his son in the running for scholarships if the athletics department is cut at Broadhead. So as far as a timetable for decision making, what's next for the school board? Well, the board could consider a modified referendum, but will have to make any layoffs by April 1st, and that is to meet contract deadlines, Eric. All right, News 3's Maria Guerrero tonight. Maria, thank you very much.